My hope when people see my art is that they are inspired to learn more about the land that they live on. From my heart and from the work that I do, I do it from a place of loving where I live and loving my culture. And so that is the kind of feeling and thought and emotion that I put into my work. As I've grown older, the, the feeling of importance to, to uphold my culture through my art has just become stronger and stronger. As I've learned my language, as I've had a child, the idea of preserving and deepening my connection to my culture has always been integral. Sea Falls BC works across the coast of BC to advocate for the creation of marine protected areas. So we were really excited to work with the Vancouver Mural Festival to find some amazing artists who could create these pieces that really help uh, people from Vancouver and around the province and across the world who are visiting to just see the importance of these waters and how we do need to continue to work together to ensure that they stay healthy for now and future generations. Sometimes along with stewardship, there's some heavy emotions or big concepts. How do we steward the land in a good ethical way? How do we look after each other and live together in a good way? Um, and so how do we transform these concepts into pieces of art that encourage others to do the same as well? Visual language is a very interesting thing because we don't relate to the land through like policy documents and all of that. We relate to it by being here, by building a relationship to this place and taking care of it and stewardship. And art on that register is just much more of a direct line. My name is Ocean Highland. I carry the ancestral name Timtalot, and the title of the mural is called The Winds and the Waters Always Call Us Back Home. 